Let's clear up some of the confusion. We have board-certified dermatologist and our friend, friend of the show, Dr. Sonia Batra. She's joining us along with toxicologist who has dedicated his life to examining sunscreens, Joe DiNardo. All right, Dr. Batra, let's, let's start off with you. So give us a little refresher course about the different types of sunscreens available on the market today. Sure. Well, there are two different types of sunscreens. They're the chemical blocks that include the octocrylene, the oxybenzone, octanoxid, all many of the ones that are currently under further investigation and might be sources of concern. And then there are mineral sunscreens, which are physical blocks that sit on top of your skin and deflect ultraviolet light. Those are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. The way chemical blocks works is they're absorbed in the skin and they convert ultraviolet to heat versus physical blocks that on top form a protective shield and either scatter or reflect the light. Joe, you and your research team made new discoveries about octocrylene. Tell us about your findings. Well, absolutely. Uh, octocrylene is a very interesting compound. And uh, what we know about it, it's actually a fusion of two different chemicals. Uh, and one of them is a compound called benzophenone. Um, once this compound is made, we know that there is some benzophenone in the raw material itself. But the find that we came up with, which was really important, is that when you take this chemical and you put it in water, which is what's done to make a lotion or a cream or a moisturizer product, um, this reaction becomes accelerated and the chemical starts degrading and breaking down into this carcinogen called benzophenone. Um, and just to give you a reference point, benzophenone back in the 50s was patented as a, uh, a weed killer, a herbicide. If wow. You know. So we went and purchased products straight off the shelves of stores. Uh, we started doing the analysis and we were quite surprised that every product that contains octocrylene will contain benzophenone. Um, so this is a very important point. Over time, this reaction will continue to keep going. So there's nothing to stop this reaction. Um, and heat, uh, for instance, you take a sunscreen and you go to the beach. It's warm, it's hot there. Heat will accelerate this product. If you take your product uh, when you're done at the beach and you come home and you throw it under your sink or some other location where it could be warm, again, it will accelerate this reaction. Um, and we have found some really significant levels of this compound uh, in products. And Dr. Botcher, I know you're up on your organic chemistry. What are your thoughts? So he's correct. Dr. Krylene also poses concern because there have been studies actually conducted by the FDA and published in JAMA that show that they're actually systemically absorbed into the bloodstream as well and, and in higher concentrations than we thought. But I do want to just kind of temper this debate a little bit and remind people that we're strictly talking mostly about the chemical block sunscreens, okay? Skin cancer is the number one cancer of any type in the United States right now. It's more than breast, colon, lung, and prostate cancer combined. And we do know that sunscreen in general with regular use decreases the rate of skin cancer. So what I would say in terms of framing all this concern about toxicity is be an informed consumer. I tell my patients all the time, turn your bottle on the back, look at the label, see if it contains yes. octocrylene. If these concerns are worrisome to you, if you see oxybenzone, avabenzone, octanoxate, any of those chemicals that may be concerning for systemic absorption, for endocrine disruption, for possible carcinogenicity, then don't buy those. Stick with the mineral block sunscreens like titanium or zinc-based products that are broad spectrum. So I think Consumers should be aware. I don't want people to be afraid and not use sunscreen because the overall public health risk of people being completely uh, across the board turned off to the use of sunscreen is, is problematic. And so I just want to frame this. I'm absolutely concerned about what he's saying about the octocrylene, but I think there are ways to avoid it if you stick with the mineral block sunscreens and you look at the Valisher website to see if a product that you use might be contaminated with benzene as well. Such an important point.